Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review on this Anchor 737 power bank. So this has a really high output, 140 watts. We can also charge it as a, at a really high rate. That's what I'm doing right now. So this is a this is a battery inside here, and we're going to be I'm charging it on this port right here, but it can output power on both of these USB-C ports and this USB-A port. Right now I'm charging it. So it will charge up to 100 watts, 140 watts, I'm sorry. And so right now the screen shows me the battery's at 37.9%. It's going to take 42 minutes to fast charge or to completely charge it. And there's the wattage that it's being charged at. Okay, so let's talk about the screen for a little bit. I've got this button over here that I'm pressing. Now, there's the status of the battery. It's at 39%. If I press it again, it goes to this screen. Now these numbers are a little hard to figure out because this is pretty small, but that top number, that's battery percent, battery health. It does give you the temperature of the battery. This is the total output that that battery has provided over its life, 16 watt amps. Total output, total input. Screen usage, that's how many times you've scrolled through this, turned the screen on and off and the battery has cycled zero times. How many times it's ran down and been charged up. Now there's one other thing, there's, called, there's this thing called trickle charging. Press it again. Now this the screen will turn off automatically, but if you hold this button for two seconds, it changes that to on. That means the auto screen, it will turn off. Now hold the button again for two seconds and it moves the cursor over. So I want the screen to stay on. Press the button again, there's battery percentage. Now this has trickle charge. Double tap that. And there's a little LED that comes on up there. It's a little hard to see. That means the trickle charge is on. That means the USB-A output right here will provide a small trickle charge out. Double tap that again. It turns the trickle charge off. Now, one thing this you might see, it's 0 .1 watt, watt output on A. Now, that is common in the Anchor manual. It talks about that, that they do that so that this... Um, it says they do that to prevent the device from being fully charged and it will last for two minutes. Now on the same display, we also get the output. So if I wanna charge something, so I'm gonna plug in my, my iPhone 13 Pro and we're gonna charge it. Now an iPhone, it is pretty dead, so it needs a lot of charging. Let's see how it's gonna ramp up. I've got it into this, they call it the C2. These have numbers on them. That's it. The C1 is the in and out. C2 is only out. So to charge it, you can only charge it on the C1 port. But we can see the iPhone, it takes a while. It should go up to super, it should go up to fast charging, which is around 20 watts. And it's getting there, so yeah. Okay, so the iPhone 13 Pro Max, it is stabilized at 22. 22.6 volt or yeah, watts. That is fast charge. That's about the fastest you can charge an iPhone. Okay, so now I've got my MacBook Air right here. I'm going to plug the MacBook Air into the other port. And let's see what happens. So the MacBook Air is plugged into the C1. And the iPhone is plugged into the C2 port. Okay, so the MacBook, my MacBook uh, Air says it's charging at 100 watts, but this one, C1, says it's only outputting 37 watts. See, my MacBook Air says a charger's connected, and it's being charged at 100 watts. And the screen says it's only outputting 37 watts. Not sure what's going on there. Let's cycle through. But it is still fast charging the iPhone. Okay, so let's just plug in, now let's just plug in the MacBook Air. And it's that wattage is going up. Okay, so I moved the MacBook Air over to the C2 port. Even on the C2 port, it's showing 37 watts. So no matter what port I've got it plugged into. But the MacBook Air says it's being charged at 100 watts. Okay, so this battery bank, it feels really nice. 
Um, it is kind of big. It's not super heavy, but it does have a little bit of weight to it, but it just feels really nice. So on the back, it does say it, have, it has 4,000 milliamp hour battery, 21.6 volts DC, 86.4 watts. And then it's got all the different voltages for the USB-C port. 5 volts, 3 amps, 9 volt, 3 amps, 15 volts, 3 amps, 20 volts, 5 amps, or 28 volts at 5 amps. That's for an input. The output of the USB-C is 5 volt, 3 amp, 9 volt, 3 amp. 15 volt, 3 amp, 20 volt, 5 amp, or 28 volt, 5 amp. The USB-A, 5 volt, 3 amps, 9 volts, 2 amps, or 12 volts, 1.5 amp. Total output cannot exceed 140 watts. So some of the things on the screen are a little small to read, but at least the battery percentage, that is very big, very easy to read. Now, some of these numbers, you do have to kind of hold it pretty close to look at it. But the battery percentage is really uh, big. And then let me charge it again. We'll see how it does. Again, it can only be charged on the C1, the top one, which is in and out. C2 is out only. So let's charge it. And so you can see how the display changes to like green to show that it's being charged. There's a little charging symbol. Okay, so I've got the charger hooked up. It says it's charging at 76 watts. I've got my Klein tools meter and it is 19.2 volts going out of the charger here I've got. This is a really nice charger and it's outputting four amps, which is 76 uh, watts. So it is displaying accurately how many watts are going into the battery. Okay, so I'm gonna charge the MacBook Air on this one while I'm charging the battery. Now here's what the display looks like. So it does allow for charging and output power also. Now it says the MacBook is charging at 90 watts. So this display is only showing 37, but the MacBook Air actually shows 90 watts. Okay, so I've got a Samsung S22 Ultra. Let's plug it in and see how it so we've got that, su that blue circle, super fast charging. And that's that super fast charging 2.0. So this will super fast charge 2.0 Samsung S22 Ultra. And so while it's fast charging the Samsung S22 Ultra, it's at 30 watts, is what it says. So it also comes with this really nice anchor bag and it's got this USB-C to USB-C cable. It does say 140 watts max on the side of it. So this makes it super easy for traveling. Put it in this bag. You've got the bag. You've got the cable. You can cinch it up. Now you're ready for travel. That's a really nice feature. So this is a really nice battery bank for travel. Um, I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.